it's been a while since I did an exploration on Power BI visuals. And now with the August update, Power BI has a new experience to get your visualizations. So let's have a look together at the new experience when it comes to grabbing your visuals. Here we are at the Power BI consolidated report, which you can get from GitHub. And if we want to see the new experience, we navigate to the three dots here or the ellipsis, get more visuals. And if I click on it, there's the option to get more visuals. And the first thing you'll notice is that the screen is a lot bigger. There's more focus on the visuals themselves and there's a new icon. So the new icon here is the editor's pick icon. I haven't seen it before. Maybe it was there already and I didn't notice, but this is a nice little visual. Every month, Microsoft figures out a couple of visuals that are editor picks, and they will get that little medal here. So another thing that you might notice is that you have three tabs on the top. You have the all visuals, you have the organizational visual, visuals, and we have the app source visuals. Now the organizational visuals are edited by your administrator and are visuals that are company allowed. So in some organizations, it might be uh, the case that certain visuals aren't allowed to be used because the organization thinks they're unsafe or they don't want to use a certain version of the Gantt chart visuals, for instance. There's a lot of them. It might be that the organization wants to streamline this. So all uh, app source visuals uh, are coming from the store. Uh, organizational visuals are agreed upon visuals by your organization. And all visuals is just everything that there is to get. Now, apart from the bigger images and uh, a couple of uh, visual tweaks, there's also functionality that's better here. So for instance, we have a sorting option, which looks at popularity, rating, name, or updated or Power BI certified. Now I want to do a whole new video on Power BI certified, why you should choose to go for a certified visual rather than a not certified visual, but that's something that's coming up. And I'm very curious on what is updated. What does that mean? Is this then the most recently updated visual let's have a look well yes that that was just three days ago all right so for sorting very nice get a instant look at what is very popular and obviously the editor pick is on top because microsoft has put them on the spotlight so they are very popular then there is a filter option and there's eight options to filter down on. So for instance, we have the analytics, we have advanced analytics, we have, what's the difference? Uh, we have filters, gouges, infographics, KPIs, maps, and time. Well, from project management, I'm very interested in time, obviously. So animated bar chart. Oh, that is cool. I've seen these. Uh, We've mentioned this one and this one already. This one is going to be upcoming. We have seen this one, we've seen this one. There's a lot of the visuals that we already covered in the channel. Um, so there's filter options and that gives you a nice subset of the data compared to uh, just looking at all the data. Then there is a search optimization where you can now search for company that created it as well. So MAQ is a popular pick for me. So MAQ is a company that builds a lot of visuals. So it's always good to see what they are doing currently. They have a, um, a editor's pick even today, but then the Gantt chart. Yeah, we know and love that one as well. Um, and you can, right from the start you can also go for a name of a visual so we have the chiclet slicer for instance which we reviewed previously 
I like the new visual pr representation of the uh, getting visuals into Power BI. The rest of this uh, is very easy. So we have, for instance, we can search for the chicken slicer, and if we want to, if we want to have that in our Power BI report, we just click on it, and it will load general data, and we know already what this uh, visual does. So we're just going to get it. And now there's there's a last little update that they've done. Um, what we've seen in recent versions of Power BI is that uh, the custom visuals or the imported visuals are part of a subset. Now if you want to have them in the top bar as well, you can pin the visual to visualization bar and then it will be part of this visual set. Now I don't know what happens exactly with that, what the change is. But there's a little hint if I unpin it. And I get this warning message. Uh, you're about to remove the visual from the visualizations pane. To use this visual in other reports, you need to import it again. So does this really mean that I can have a subset already in my list? Let's find out. So I want to have the chiclet slicer in all of my reports. Makes a lot of sense for me because I use it all the time. And let's create a new report. And it is exactly what we thought. The chiclet slicer is now part of my visualizations in all of my new reports. I love this new feature. And I'm going to cover that in a new video in which I will report on the visualizations that I would use as a project consultant as uh, someone that does a lot with Microsoft Project, Project Online, Project for the Web, and all that. So if you like this video, please click that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.